Hey everyone, my name is Andrea. If you're curious about how to create a SharePoint list and connect that to a Power App, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be walking through how to create a SharePoint list, how to add columns, and then I'll create a Canvas app in Power Apps and teach you how to connect that list to build a form and a gallery list. At the end of this mini series, we will have a fully functioning feedback app. Let's jump right into it. Since we're already familiar with the maker portal for Power Apps, we're going to start from here and then we're going to click on the hamburger bun, select SharePoint, and you can skip this step if you already know how to get to your SharePoint site. Once you're in SharePoint, you're gonna click on the settings tool, site contents, new, list, blank list, and we're going to create a new list here. So for our feedback app, I'm going to name this list feedback list and the description will be main list for feedback items. I'm going to select create. So to get started, we're going to start adding columns. We're going to add three different columns for now, a feedback column, a description column, and we're going to add an ID column. We're going to start out by getting rid of this title. So we'll hit show hide unselect title, and then select ID. We're going to use the ID for when we start connecting different lists to each other so that they can talk to each other in the Canvas app. Hit apply, change the name of this column, select single text. This will say feedback, save. New column will be the description field, the description of the feedback multiple lines of text, save, and there we have our feedback list. Now let's go back to Power Apps. Same navigation, click Power Apps, Solutions. We're going to create a new solution for this feedback app. So we're going to click Solution and then New Solution. publisher is going to be the publisher I created for the trip planner application select create click into the feedback app select new app canvas we're going to select tablet I usually select skip here we're going to start by adding a form for our feedback list. So we're going to select the hamburger bun, select data, add data. We're going to select this drop down for connectors and start typing SharePoint. We're going to select connect directly. And now we want to go back to the SharePoint site because we're going to grab the URL from the SharePoint list that we created. Go back to Power Apps, going to take the same steps to navigate back, wait for the settings tool to populate, site contents, and you can see our feedback list right here. So we're going to take the URL from the top, copy that, go back to the Canvas app, and just paste it into this, hit connect, and you're gonna select the list. Once we add more lists, you'll see other lists populate here. Select our feedback list, click connect, and just like that, you'll see it added to your data. So then when we go back to insert our form, I'll zoom in here, you'll see that we can connect to data, We'll select the data source feedback list here. And you'll see the items that we have added like feedback, description, and attachments and title are just added here by default. But we can remove them by clicking on edit fields, remove. We'll keep attachments because maybe people will want to add attachments 
about their feedback, maybe a screenshot. And we will make this a little bit bigger so that people have more space to add their description. You can just drag it to make it bigger. So now we'll add a submit form button so that this can talk to the back end. Oh, I do want to click out of this and then insert the button so that it's not stuck within the description column. And then on select, we're going to say submit form. And then the only form we have so far is this form one, which is the form we just added. Close it with a parentheses and a semicolon. Change the text if you would like. And now let's add it, let's add a list of all feedback at the bottom here. So we'll go back to insert, we'll say display, sorry, layout, vertical gallery, and we'll select the data source, a so feedback list. Make this a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, and now we're going to edit the fields that we want in here. So I want image title and subtitle and body. And then we want the body to be the description. So we'll hit on that and then look for description. image two, we'll leave that blank. We're going to use that for voting purposes when we get to that. Uh, and we're going to have a button and then uh, have a number field. And we're going to increment that number by one every time someone hits the vote button. The subtitle two will be the created on date. And the title will be feedback. All right, so let's see what happens when we play this and see if it adds to our list. Before we play, click inside your form like that, and then make sure that the default mode is set to new, and then select play. I'm going to leave the attach file blank. Post feedback. So we did get that notice that title is required. To fix that, we want to go back to the SharePoint list and ensure that that title field that was initially there as a default is not required. So we'll go back to the feedback list, select the settings, list settings, go back, go down to title, see that it's required, click the column for title, and ensure that this is selected as no. Okay. And that should resolve the issue. Let's go back to our Canvas app. We're probably going to have to save this before we can actually see the updates. Right now it's still saying that title is required. So we'll click on file, save, hit the back button, refresh our screen, reload, click open, select your feedback app that you just saved. go through the motions. Now let's see if we can play this without 
any problem. And as you can see here, it's been posted to our list. We still don't have a screen to uh, tell the user what to do next after they post the feedback, but we see that our list is working and the form submit is working as well. Now if we go back to SharePoint and go back to our feedback list, hit the refresh button, you'll see that the entry has been added to our list with an ID of one. Every time a new feedback item is added, a new unique ID will be generated for that feedback. In the videos to come, we will continue building a feedback app. I'll show you how to sort and filter lists, how to build a detailed view from clicking a specific item from a gallery list, how to add a voting section and increment a number by one, and how to connect and create a relationship between two SharePoint lists for a comment section. Join me on this journey.